Welcome to the 10-Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil, and this video is kind of a follow-up video from when I was setting up my donation system in QuickBooks Online, and I decided on a whim to integrate my electronic giving provider, and I use Anadot. They're a really good one. I'll put a link to them in the description, but I've learned a lot of things. You know, there are some ways that it definitely made it easier, and there's some things, if you don't change the settings, it will probably make it more difficult. But here's what I learned. So first of all, I'm not recording my screen. I just took some uh, screenshots because I don't want to accidentally leak donor information. So first of all, where do the transactions go once they integrate? So what I did is I went to all sales. So you go to sales and then all sales. And you see they come in right here. These are these three, actually the four of the ones are the ones that came in right from Anadot. I didn't have to do anything to bring them in here. I didn't have to press anything. They came in almost instantly. So almost as soon as the donation came in, they populated in QuickBooks. And if you click on one of these, so if you click on the name of one of these, I blurred them, but if you click on one of them, and I'll click on one is my own donation, All right, so here is my donation. And the cool thing was it properly identified me as an existing donor. So that was cool. It gave me credit for the donation. I really didn't have to do anything else. You know, I had a new donor come in and it properly set them up as a donor. And the interesting thing was in the display name, it adds their email address um, if they're not an existing donor. And I don't know if I should remove that or what I should do with that. I might remove that later. Um, I just want to see if the, everything keeps coming across normal. Uh, but one of the one things, I think that Anadot and QuickBooks, they compare the email address to link the donors because then I had a husband and wife that had given before. And then when they gave through Anadot, um, it, it, they didn't have a... So I clicked edit next to the transaction. And that's probably what you're going to want to do uh, most of the time anyway, until you, you get it figured out. So one of the things I've learned through this is that by default, um, the product and service selected, at least for me, was the first one alphabetically, which was the bank fees. So that's not ideal. There is a way, um, at least this is what Anadot gave me instructions on how uh, you could set up the integration so that it automatically maps your funds in Anadot to the product and service. Um, I did it and I'll link the, the instructions in the description, but I didn't have it at this time. So I had to go into this. I had to go ahead and change the fund and I changed it to other, but then, then it zeroed out my amount. And by the way, one of the things I should uh, show you is that by default, it goes to deposit to payments to deposit. So it's just look, it's like undeposited payments yet. So the other way of actually depositing these is to go through the deposit. So you go to new and then bank deposit right here. And one of the things I like about this is if you had a batch of them, you could add those, those fees on real quickly. So, and that's assuming that all the funds are matched up correctly, or you had to maybe adjust the handful of ones that weren't. 
So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So that'll bring you to this screen and you're going to see any of the ones that are still waiting to be deposited, they'll show up here. So I had one that was still waiting that uh, payments to deposit. And so I selected them and I'd already corrected their fund, by the way. And then I could add on the bank fees here. So I added on the bank fees right at the very bottom there. Um, again, I'm depositing it in Anadot and it'll combine it all together for one deposit into Anadot. So pretty slick. All right, that brings us to the end. And the reason why I show this mostly is because you might look at this as, this looked a little bit complicated. Is it worth it? And I'm gonna say, you know, if I would, thought I was gonna stay at five to 10 donors per month, um, maybe not worth it. You know, maybe it was more of a hassle than it was worth, but I expect um, this organization to grow to be 100, 150, maybe even 200 donations a month. And if it's like that, I don't want to spend my time doing data entry. I, I don't want to have to hire somebody to do data entry. I'd rather have Anadot and QuickBooks do perfect data entry. And all I got to do is review it and click OK. So hopefully that helps. And until next time, God bless.